Hey everybody, Miss Adair here again. Um, I am going to read chapter 13 from Stargirl, but before we get going on that, I wanted to show you, um, I have linked our um, PDF of our text right down here on our reading, come to classwork and go ahead, chapter 16, or 12 through 16 will be all there together. So if you want to follow along and you don't have the book, you can do it here, or you can always Google um, some Stargirl texts, and I think there's quite a few that um, you can find the full book all together online. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to come on here, come to chapter 13, and I'll start reading. So chapter 12, the hot seat started getting going, and Cinnamon had kind of jumped and ran all over the place and um, kind of created a little havoc on there, but and um, Stargirl had pretended that her seat was actually hot, and uh, everybody was kind of having a fun time, but it seemed like the tides were turning and starting to get a little nasty for Stargirl. So here we go. Chapter 13. In less than a minute, everything returned to normal. Stargirl retrieved Cinnamon and sat back coolly in the hot seat as if nothing had happened. Kevin's eyes twinkled. He was squirming. He couldn't wait to dig into the interview. Neither could the jury, but their eyes were not twinkling. Kevin forced himself to look serious. So your name, Stargirl, it's pretty unusual. Stargirl gave him a blank look. Kevin was flustered. Isn't it? He said. Stargirl shrugged. Not, not to me. She's putting him on, I thought. Chico, I said into my mic. Stay tight on her face. A voice was heard dimly off camera. Kevin turned. A jury member had spoken. Jury, mic up, I said. Ready? Two. The mic was passed to Jennifer St. John. Two. The mic looked like a black ice cream cone before Jennifer's face. Her voice wasn't pleasant. What's wrong with the name that your parents gave you? Stargirl turned slowly to Jennifer, and she smiled. Nothing. It was a good name. What was it? Susan. So why'd you drop it? Because I didn't feel like a Susan anymore. So you just threw your name out and named yourself Stargirl? No, Stargirl said, still smiling. No. Pocket Mouse. Twelve pairs of eyes boggled. What? I named myself Pocket Mouse, Stargirl said breezily. And then Mud Pie, then Holly Gully, then Stargirl. Damon Ricky snatched the mic from Jennifer St. John. So, what's it going to be next? Dog turd? Uh-oh, I thought, here we go. Kevin jumped in. So, you change your name whenever you get tired of it. Whenever it doesn't fit me anymore. I'm not my name. My name is something I wear, like a shirt. It gets worn. I outgrow it. I change it. So why Stargirl? Oh, I don't know. She petted Cinnamon's nose with her fingertip. I was walking in the desert one night, looking up at the sky, like, how can you not look at the sky? It just sort of came to me. It fell upon me. Kevin looked up from his sheet of prepared questions. So what do your parents think of it? Are they sad you didn't keep Susan? No, it was almost their idea. When I started calling myself Pocket Mouse when I was little, they called me that too. And we just never went back. Another distant voice from the jury. I tapped the sound man. Jury, Mike, and keep all your mics open. I hated to do it. It was Mike Ebersol. I said, I said, do you love your country? Yes, she answered briskly. Do you love yours? Ebersol ignored the question. Well, why don't you say the Pledge of Allegiance right? She smiled. It sounds right to me. Sounds like you're a traitor to me. Jurors were only supposed to ask questions, not make statements. A hand reached into the picture and grabbed the mic from Ebersol. Becca Rinaldi's angry face appeared on camera too. Well, why do you cheer for the other team? Stargirl seemed to be thinking it over. I guess because I'm a cheerleader? You're not just a cheerleader, you dumb cluck. Becca Rinaldi was snarling into the mic. You're supposed to be our cheerleader, a mica cheerleader. I glanced at Mr. Robinow, and he had turned away from the monitors. 
He was staring straight at the set through the control room window. Stargirl was leaning forward, looking earnestly at Becca Rinaldi. Her voice was small as a little girl's. Well, when the other team scores a point and you see how happy it makes all their fans, doesn't it make you happy too? Becca growled, no. Doesn't it make you want to join in? No. Don't you ever want the other team to be happy too? No. Stargirl seemed genuinely surprised. You don't always want to be the winner, do you? Becca scowled at her, jutted out her, do- out her jaw. Yes, yes, I do. I always want to be the winner. That's what I do. I root for us to win. That's all. That's what we all do. And she swept her arm around the set. We root for Micah. She jabbed her finger at the stage. Who do you root for? Stargirl hesitated, and she smiled. She threw out her arms. I root for everybody. Kevin, to the rescue, thankfully, clapped his hands. Hey, okay, how about this? Maybe it should be official. Maybe one person for every school, um, let me see, in the whole district should be appointed to be on everybody's side. Stargirl reached over and slapped Kevin's knee. She could wear every school's letter on her sweater. Kevin laughed. <laughs> She'd have to be as big as a house. Stargirl slapped her own knee. Then, no letter at all. That's even better. Out with letters. Cheerleader at large. Everybody's cheerleader. Kevin sat at attention, and he placed his hand over his heart. With liberty and justice and a cheerleader for all. Ebersol snarled into the jury mic. And a nut roll for all. Kevin wagged his finger. That's a no-no, he scolded. No statements from the jury. Questions only. Renee Bozeman snatched the mic. Okay, here's a question. Why did you quit homeschooling? Stargirl's face became serious. I wanted to make friends. Well, you have a sh- you sure have a funny way of showing it, making the whole school mad at you. I wished I had never given in to hot-seating Stargirl. Stargirl just stared. Chico filled the screen with her face. Gimme. It was Jennifer St. John reaching for the mic. And out of school, too. You meddle in everybody's business. You stick your nose whether you're invited or not. Why do you do that? Stargirl had no reply. Her usual impish expression was gone. She looked at Jennifer. She looked at the camera as if trying to find an answer in the lens. Then she was looking away, looking at the control room. I took my eyes from the monitor for just a second. I thought they met hers in the control room window. I had been wondering when Hillary Kimball would speak up. Now she did. I'm going to tell you something, girl. You're goofy. You're crazy. Hillary was standing, jabbing her finger at Stargirl, chewing on the mic. You must have come from Mars or something. Kevin raised a timid hand. And don't tell me. No statements, Kevin. Hey, where'd you come from? Mars or something? There, now it's a question. Why don't you go back to where you came from? Also, there's a question. Stargirl's eyes filled the camera. Don't cry, I prayed. There was no stopping Hillary. You don't want to cheer for other schools? Fine, go there. Don't come to my school. Get out of my school. I know what the problem. Other hands were snatching at the mic. I know what your problem is. All this weird stuff you do is to get attention. It's to get a boyfriend. The jurors laughed. They were a mob. Hands grabbed at the mic. Kevin looked anxiously at me. I could do nothing. With all the buttons and switches at my command, I was helpless to change anything on the other side of the glass. I got a question for you. What's the matter with you? Huh? Huh? Why can't you be normal? Why do you want to be so different? Yeah. Is something wrong with us? You gotta be so different. Why don't you wear makeup? They were all standing now, jabbing, jutting, shouting, whether they had the mic or not. You don't like us, do you? Do you? Mr. Robinow flipped the master toggle on the console. That's it, he said. I flipped the studio sound switch. That's it, show's over. The jury went on shouting. Oh, that was a, 
a rough go for Stargirl. It'd be hard to sit through and have everybody, like all of your peers, yelling and kind of attacking you that way. Um, so I'm going to put up right here a quick chapter summary, scooch myself out of the way. Um, so if you want to go back and kind of see some of the things that happened, um, you know, Kevin's asking her about why she's named Stargirl, um, you know, other people starting to call her names. Um, go ahead and pause the video here and you can read through your chapter 13 summary. You're always welcome to come back and um, look at this as it's paused um, to help yourself answer some of the questions or if you're just wanting to go back and get a quick overview of chapter 13, that's all right here. But thank you guys for reading along with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.